see for the next season? I think <clears throat> I think the biggest uh, shift from uh, uh, last season to this season is it's uh, the kids' uh, senior year. So we know that after this year, we're going to say about a high school, so we're doing as much high school stuff as we can. Uh, going back a little bit to season one, kind of the uh, archetypes and icons that we sort of deconstructed. So Archie's going to be back on the football team, Cheryl's going to be back with the Vixens, Betty's going to be back on the newspaper staff, Veronica's going to be back, you know, causing drama. Uh, uh, so that's, I think, the big thing, this idea that, that this is the last time this group of people may be together at the same school, or together as friends, is kind of the big kind of theme about that. I feel like with the with the finale, we almost saw another finale in a finale. Yeah. Can you can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, there, you know, there, there there's always you know a, one or two or three mysteries that are percolating along, and um, the the flash forward that you saw at the very end of the finale is uh, something that we'll be building up to as the season uh, happens. Um, every episode we're going to do a flash forward that gives you another little piece of that story. Um, and then kind of at the midpoint of the, of the, of the season, we're going to do that night. And then we're going to kind of uh, play out the uh, uh, ramifications and consequences of that over the second half of the season. So you were planning that from like the beginning of last season? You were No, you know, about about halfway or three quarters of the way through the season, usually um, we have to go in and, and uh, pitch the end of the season and then kind of give an idea of the next season. So we I think it was about halfway or three quarters of the way through that we kind of started really talking about what the next season would be, what the mystery would be. Uh, yeah, and that's how that happened. Does it feel like you're always building towards the mystery or, th or towards the characters? That's a, that's a really good question. Last year, for instance, we did the Gargoyle King, which kind of took over mm -hmm. the season and, and was a really good villain. Um, this year, I think we are telling more character-based stories. You know, we season one, there was a mystery to solve, which was who killed Jason Blossom, but there wasn't a killer. There wasn't a serial yeah. killer. Once you put a serial killer in the show, it's kind of like you're running away from the serial killer. So, so we're telling a, a kind of a, a, a slower burn mystery that'll allow us to tell character stories as well. Okay. I love musical episodes. I love yeah. all the flashbacks. Can we yeah. More yeah. You know, you know, I think people really look forward to the musical. Uh, uh, I, you know, it's 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 as I say every year, which is. You know, we did, we did a great job with Carrie. It was like, okay, well, if we're doing a musical, it's got to somehow be better than Carrie. And then we did Heather's, and, and I, I really loved it. Uh, so it's always about finding the right musical that fits in with the stories we're telling. And then, uh, but 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 I, we'd love to. I, th I think we will. I think we will do one. And the flashback, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about a very uh, different kind of flashback, uh, uh, which would be... Uh, even more of a, of a period piece than what we did uh, uh, this year could maybe go truly to the 40s or 50s. When you talk about um, focusing more on the characters, um, I, I feel like the last few seasons have focused more on relationships and less on the friendships, but maybe if you... It's a question. If you have more time to focus on the characters and less on the mystery, can we see more of the friendships? That, yeah, you know, I think, I think it was... It was um, I think... The finale, one of the things people loved about the finale last year was that it was the four of them in the challenge together. And and usually um, we, what it, it, whatever the mystery is, it usually falls on one or two of the kids, but not the other ones. So you've got one or two connected to the mystery and the other two are kind of like yeah. doing their own things. This year... Uh, that flash forward it involves all of our kids so I think it will it will be more of a friendship story mm -hmm. but we're also going to see you know in episode two is a really big um, Archie Reggie story uh, episode two has a really wonderful Kevin and Betty story they were you know they were best friends in the pilot yeah. so so we are kind of and and we got Betty and Veronica together so I do think that there will be more more friendships and and there'll be more scenes of them together you know 
Ver- both of Veronica's parents are in jail, so Veronica's always having sleepovers at her house. <laughs> so I, th- I think we'll be doing that stuff. So, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So Penelope turned out to be the big baddie from season three, and then skipped town after evil yes. deeds came to life. Can we hope to see Penelope in season four, or is there a new villain to be wary of? Um, there, there, there's, there's always someone new to be wary of. I, I love Natalie Bolt, who plays Penelope. You know, when, when it, you know, as we were figuring out where everyone ended up, we, we sort of wanted uh, a Penelope to escape, <laughs> assuming that she will come back at some point to torment, uh, torment the kids. Uh, I, think you, I think you'll probably see her again. <laughs> so, uh, one of my favorite episodes was where the kids were kind of mimicking their parents and yeah. playing back. It was absolutely brilliant. Like, will we see any other type of episode that's, that's like that? Yeah, no, I think so. You mean the flashback episodes? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 for sure we will. Uh, that was something, you know, that we had talked about season one. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it was really fun to see... For, for Lily to play Alice and for KJ to play Luke and and it was uh, uh, no it was a, I think a real challenge and they did great yeah and people loved it yeah <laughs> will we get to see any more characters from the RG universe in this coming season? that's a really good question we have a lot of characters we have a lot of characters uh, well Chip Cooper who is uh, uh, Betty's half, uh, half-brother, who we met at the end of the finale. He will be around. And there are so, a couple of new characters. They, I don't think they're... I think they're new uh, inventions, not even in the comic books. I think that's true. Uh, but yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll always... Some will always pop up. One thing that's nice is that, um, you know, with Katie Keene being in the same universe, but sort of... Um, you know, in New York, we, we like are dropping little hints about Katie Keene. Like, for instance, she, like there's we're doing a Halloween episode, and Katie Keene is going to do the costumes for it. So we're doing little hints like that. Well, can we expect anybody to come back? Like you said, Katie Keene, um, and Josie, and Mark. Will we see them still? Around? Yeah, you know, um, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I I I don't think it's a surprise, but Ashley's coming back for the first episode. And if we if we do a graduation episode, I'd love for Ashley to, to graduate with her cl- ca- uh, class and her friends. Um, yeah, we're listen. We're really open to it. Um, you know, we 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 um, uh, uh, and people always come back. Even when they die, they come back. So so uh, uh, I think we'll see some familiar faces. For instance, I love um, uh, Chuck Clayton, uh, Jordan. Uh, uh, Calloway, I think, who, play, who plays uh, Chuck Clayton. I love that guy. I love that character. He was busy doing Black Lightning, but I think he's less busy doing Black Lightning, so hopefully we'll have him uh, on our show. Yesterday, Last year, we introduced a character uh, when our TV's in juvie called um, Mad Dog, mm-hmm. uh, play, played by Eli, who's just wonderful, and he's going to be around a lot. Uh, uh, and his real name is uh, Monroe Moore, by the way. Uh, uh, so he'll be Mad Dog no more. That was what his name when he was in uh, Juvie. Uh, we're going to see a lot more of Molly Ringwald, which is really wonderful. So, so you know, I, I think we'll have a lot of people visiting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.